Hey you! Welcome to a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm starting a new series and this will be the first edition and I'm going to talk about my wax seal supplies. Okay, so what's on my table? Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my supplies, where I get my stuff, where I store my stuff. If I want to show you my craft supply stash, I don't think you're ready. It is messy. Um, I thought I would uh, split this up into multiple sections because otherwise there would just be too much to talk about and what might be interesting to one, such as wax seal supplies, might not be interesting to someone else. So I thought I would just split it up and the first one I want to talk about is obviously my sealing wax or wax seal supplies. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the supplies I have, I'm going to tell you where to buy them, I'm going to tell you some of the essentials that I think you should have because I have more than that obviously but you don't need all of that. I am going to tell you how I store my stuff. Might not be the best way but uh, it is. Uh, it will have to do for now. I'm also going to share with you some tips and tricks because I've been playing around with wax seals for quite a while and I can tell you some of the things I learned. And I'm going to tell you some stuff, some extra things you can use to make your wax seal stamps even cooler. So we're starting with the supplies I have and I have to say uh, all my stuff was first in a smaller bag but it just keeps growing. Um, this pretty pouch I received in a swap on e swap bot and I received this gorgeous cactus pencil bag and she made it all by herself. This is all handmade. Isn't that amazing? I love it. And it's perfect for my wax seal supplies. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have. Uh, yep. It's a bit messy. Let me start with this. This, I actually got this last week. Um, this is a little furnace. So you have your candle here, then you have this over there and you can put the spoon in there. Uh, you don't need this. This is not one of the essentials, but it, it <laughs> you can just put the spoon down and you don't have to hold it anymore. So basically this is just for lazy people. Otherwise it would be sitting there like this for hours. And this thing just ensures that I can do some other stuff while melting wax, which is just something for lazy people but it actually makes me really excited because i can add stuff i can stir i can move around and then the next thing that we that i have okay so i uh, told you about this and then the next thing i have are my uh stamps so um, this is just a tiny one that i got from sustra Sweet Jesus Vivian, that I got from Sustrene Grene. It's like half the normal one, so you only need one wax seal bead. And for these, I use two. Just a little bit of side information. So basically, what you need are basically these. These are your stamps, and these are the handles. So you can just move them around. Because some people have a handle for every stamp, but just that just takes up a lot of storage. And I feel that with two, I can just good enough for me and then I will just order the these usually only the stamp head but um, sometimes you'll just get the entire stamp that's also totally fine but this is just better for storing so I will show you the ones that I have I have this one with uh, this is a fern it's beautiful this is a daisy um, I cannot I cannot tell you which one is my favorite I love them all this one is a bow, very perfect for gifts. And this one is, again, some sort of leafy design that I also really like. Uh, I'll show them to you up close. Sorry, my camera is being very annoying. These are the ones I have. And then I'll show you the tiny one, which is a tree of life. Can I show you this? Hello, focus. Mm, see, tree of life, very pretty. Also a great tip, if you already have the stamp handles, you can ask shops if they would sell you only the stamp hat because it's usually easier for them to ship, so it might save you some money. So um, these are my stamps, yes. Then the next thing I have are spoons. You already saw some of them. Um, so I have five because I use, mm, you know, basically I use different colors and I just like having different spoons, otherwise you have to thoroughly clean them. For example, if I'm using this greenish one, then I don't want pink wax to be still in there because it just looks ugly. I have this big one that came with the furnace. This is the biggest one. Then I have two. These are also very big. Uh, and these two are very small. And usually I use two, 
two of those wax seal beads and it just fits. When it melts, it's like full. So the smallest one are perfect for just making something in between and these are better if you wanna like mix or if you wanna do something special with it or if you wanna make bigger ones. The next thing I have are obviously is obviously the wax. So I have pink. Let me see, these are just beads. And some people may not know them, but it's just basically the same as this, but then in beads. But I have pink, I have white, I have these green ones. I have these golden, uh, golden, hello. I have these blue stars. I have golden stars. Pretty enough. I have these turquoise ones. These are uh, also like shimmery. These three are all shimmery. And these are like, um, how do you put them? These are matte. Am I saying that correctly? Then I have these. Um, this is some sort of a golden greenish one. I use them for Christmas. See, it's it's like gold, but it's a bit darker. So it's, I think it's green. I use them for Christmas. And I also have these that I also use for Christmas. I have more, but um, the bag opens, so they're all in there. You hear that? I have these shimmery red ones as well. So uh, basically from all of these, if you were to make a normal stamp such this size, if you were to make this size, you would need two of the beads. And I don't know about the stars. I think you would need two stars as well, but I have a feeling that they're slightly bigger than the beads. I would have to weigh them. I'm not entirely sure, but you would need two of them. And obviously I can use the same color. I can mix colors. I really love mixing colors. You've seen me do it in a wax seal video. I love mixing them, I love doing a lot of stuff. And then I also have these um, wax seal, these sealing wax um, candles. Yeah, I thought that there would be like a little candle actually in here, you know, you see that often the people are like burning it and then dripping it on the page, but these don't have a candle. See, they're just, it's only the wax. So what I do is I either, I, I turn this on, I use the spoon and then I melt it in there. I just hold it there until enough of it melted or this is one of my first tips. I use a gardening scissors. Wait, I'll show you. These these are my gardening scissors. I use them to trim, for example, the stems of roses and they're very, very sharp. They're sharper than normal scissors and I can use them to just cut off a small piece. Don't use normal scissors for this because uh, you will break them because wax is kind of uh, tough. So. I either cut off a piece or I just melt off a piece. Also, this is my first tip. I know it sounds weird. You're supposed to use this for cutting flowers. I also do that, but you can also use them to cut uh, beads in half. Eee, look, super easy. So, um, like I said, don't do that with normal scissors. I'm afraid you're going to break the scissors or hurt yourself. I also use a knife sometimes, but just do with caution, okay? Because I don't want you to get hurt. And I, I cut them in half if I want to mix three colors or, you know, if I want to play around with something. And so, yeah, I use that and I use these. And I, I have these green ones because they don't, for some reason, there are not a lot of green wax seal beads available. They only have these and these are more like blue. Um, but I wanted green, so I just started searching for these and they are perfect. And I know that some people say you should use them in a glue gun. You also have these, especially for a glue gun, but I don't have one of those. I'm not gonna get one. Um, so these are my normal supplies. Then I also wanna tell you about the extra supplies I have. For example, I have this embossing powder. I ordered a white one and a silver one as well, but they're not here yet. This is some sort of a dark gold, just like the, these. And what I do is I melt some wax. I'll show you that after this. Uh, well, I will melt some wax. And then I will pour it on the paper and then I will put a little bit of this on there and then put the stamp and then you can, it sort of this sort of melts into a golden shimmer which is really really pretty really really pretty and then I have this bag and here are just some loose wax seals and some uh, of the half beads or pieces that I have left so I can use them to add a little extra something so this is just my uh, leftover bag so these are all the stuff, all the things I have, but I will just tell you about the essentials, okay? So the essentials that the things you really, really need are a spoon. Um, I know that people also use regular spoons for that. I don't know how that works. I think you could, but um, I don't, maybe if you have like an ugly spoon, use it. 
but I just like these because um, the, the, the edges are up high so then it doesn't spill over or something. Whereas if I would use a normal spoon, it might spill. Uh, so just get yourself a spoon. Uh, get yourself a stamp, obviously. So either this set or one of these or, you know, get yourself a stamp. Spoon, stamp, you need a candle, you don't need this furnace. Spoon, stamp, candle and wax. Simple as that. Just pick a color you like, either beads or you can use one of these sticks. It's all good, that is all you need. You don't need all the colors I have. I'm, I'm overdoing it a little bit. Uh, and obviously you need a lighter to light the candle. Okay, so I'm going to start making one now. And then meanwhile, I will tell you a little bit more. Which one am I gonna make? Am I gonna make a green one? Yeah, I'm gonna make a green one. So this spoon is especially for this thing, but I can also use this one. Just have to make sure I don't knock it over because it's not as... Uh, sturdy as the other one. Making a lot of sense, Vivian. Doing great. I'm going to tell you about my tips and tricks. I can start with one already. Um, what I do... Okay, we'll rewind a little bit. Okay, so, you know, sometimes you make a wax seal and it doesn't turn out as pretty as you want. For example, with this wax seal, uh, I waited too long. So I waited too long to press down the stamp. And then it was just not that pretty. Uh, it's not wasted wax because you can just melt it again. That is really nice. So if I, I if I mess up, I will just melt it again, and uh, I can retry. And what you see here, it looks a little bit weird. That is because there are dried flowers in there, which is one of my next tips. I'll tell you a little bit more about extra stuff you can use. And yes, there does does tend to smoke a lot, but um, it'll all be good. Okay, so that is my first tip. You can re melt filled once then i'm going to add some i'm going to make a weird one i think maybe some gold where's my scissors yeah next tip would obviously be use the gardening scissors to uh, cut beads very handy and i'm going to add more green yeah more green oh it's smoking a lot today sorry guys i hope this doesn't annoy you oh yeah another tip i have i don't know if this is like really a tip but i always use um i always use a paper clip to stir okay so there are two things i can do now i can either stir it all the way through so that it becomes one color sometimes i do that for example i will mix pink and white and sometimes a little bit of blue so that i have like a pretty uh, pastel color pink or purple um, but usually I will just leave it so that it's sort of marbled. I'm doing that now. Okay, so I'm going to show you this uh, with the embossing powder. Hopefully it works out the way I want it to. So once it's melted enough... Oh yeah, this is my next tip. I'm going great. This is my next tip. I actually learned that from someone here on YouTube. You can use baking parchment to uh, make wax seals. And then you can just peel them off and then put them on the paper which i think was a great tip i'll put the link to the video where i saw this first in the description box below if i can find it i'm adding the embossing powder as you can see it melts into this beautiful purple ah gold hello vivian i'm going to add the fern there we go just press it down a little bit and just wait for a few minutes until it's dried okay and now i'm going i'm being a bit messy here but i'm going to tell you more of my tips that for example is what i'm doing here because usually as you can see here usually when i finish the spoon isn't empty because for some reason half of it will stay in the spoon what i do is i just put it down on the paper upside down so that most of it can drip out and then this will dry this will dry, you can peel it off the paper and then I'll put it in this bag. So for example, I made a blue one. Oh, no, I made a blue and pink one and I had some left, poured it on the paper and I put it on in the bag and then the next time I make a blue and pink one or a blue or a pink one, I can just add this uh, and it will melt again. So don't throw away the excess wax, just pour it onto some paper and reuse it. 
Also, I have a question because I'm making a video about my wax seal supplies, but I don't know everything. I want to ask if you guys are using wax seals, how do you clean the spoon? Like, do you wipe it clean or do you ever clean it or do you just leave the wax in there like I'm doing here? Because one thing that I do very often do is these spoons are tinier, which is perfect. And then I just scoop out, scoop out most of the wax. And these are perfect for that because they fit perfectly. And then as you can see, most of it is out here. There's still some in there, but that's okay. And then I can just uh, peel this off later. So that is a little bit about that. I have more tips, more tricks. Uh, then what I also sometimes do, I don't have an example for you now, is I use other flat items. Okay. So you can use other flat items. Just um, for example, this nail. Oh, Vivian. Clumsy. Uh, for example, this nail polish has a square flat bottom and I can use that to make a wax seal stamp. I've done it before, it works quite well. You just have to play around with certain items because I, for example, also used the top of a nail polish bottle one and then the wax seal got stuck on there. So just look for stuff that works, such as glass, usually works. And see if you can make some wax seals of your own. And this one is dry. Ta-da! And look, this is what I mean with the baking parchment. You can just peel it off and you have like a loose keep dropping stuff today and you just have a loose wax seal and then what you can do is you can send these to your pen pals so that they can use them or you can just use glue and put them on the back of the envelope yourself I'll show you up close so this is what it looks like with that gold embossing powder you see it has a beautiful shimmer The embossing powder definitely is something fun to play around with, but it's not a necessity. This is just something that I like to use to like level up my uh, wax seals. Also, I have more tips on uh, how to level up your wax seals. There are some things you can add to your wax seal, either before you pour it or after you pour it onto the paper. Stuff, th stuff that you can add before pressing down the stem, the stem are, for example, embossing powder. Embossing powder I just showed you, it makes it very pretty. Uh, you can use glitter, I think that would work as well. You can use sequins, you've seen me do that in the uh, wax seal stamp video I did a little while ago. So what you do is you pour the wax down, sprinkle some glitter, then you stamp it, very pretty. You can use pressed or dried flowers. That is something that I also really love doing. Um, yeah, flowers or leaves, you know, just play around with it and see what you can use. You can put scraps of paper in there, gold foil, whatever, you know. There are so many things you can do. I will show you that in a different video again. Uh, there's also something you can do after you made it. So as you can see here, you have the fern. And what I sometimes do is I take a marker. I, for example, have, let me show you, um, color in the stamp itself. So for example, I, were, I could color in the fern leaves with these markers this is a metallic color pen or you could use a gel pen this is a little bit trickier i'm just going to try and see if i can show you i'm just or i'm just coloring in the stem because i don't want to go over that beautiful embossing powder this uh, gel pen so as you can see there are so many things you can do just I have these I have these uh, gel pens already for a while and I just thought I would try it and it actually turns out that it works on wax seal so just look for the supplies you already have and color in the leaves or color in the design or for example I could color in this bow and that's just something really fun so as you can see I now colored in the, the stem with the gold uh, gel pen cool of one that I colored in with the silver uh, marker that I just showed you. So this is a white and blue wax seal and as you can see I colored in the little leaves with the silver pen. The silver marker I mean. I'm now going to tell you where to buy them. Okay, this is going to be different for every country. Um, unfortunately uh, I do not have one great tip. <laughs> I asked you guys on Instagram, I got a lot of great tips. If I uh, find any more, I will put them in the description box down below. But you guys sent me some on Instagram, which is great. For example, I learned uh, about eBay. You can find stamps on eBay, Amazon, AliExpress or Wish. Actually, most of the stamps that I'm showing you here are from AliExpress. 
if you feel comfortable with ordering there uh, i can definitely recommend it all of my wax is from aliexpress all of these stamps i think are from aliexpress the embossing powder the spoons even the furnace everything is from aliexpress the only thing that doesn't come from aliexpress is this little wax seal stamp this is from the shop Sostrene Grene. Uh, they have stores in the Netherlands, but I do know that they're also in some shops. I'm not entirely in some countries, I'm sorry. I don't know which ones, but if you have a Sostrene Grene, just check them for wax seal stamps. I also know that many, many, many uh, shops like, for example, the Alley Hop or Flying Tiger, they also sometimes have, randomly will have something like this. Uh, most scrap scrap booking stores or web shops such as for example craftelier i use craftelier.com quite often to order stuff i know that they also have wax seal supplies not that many they just have the one from we are memory keepers but it's a beautiful butterfly i've been eyeing it for a while now um what else oh yeah if you're in the netherlands you can use splendid pun so splendid.nl i'll put it I'll put it in the description box down below, or you can use Nikki Dotti. I know she also sells them, and I think that is all the shops that you can order them. I mean, I know there are many, many more, but I unfortunately uh, do not know about them. If you know more shops, let me know in the in the comments down below. I know that there are many, many people looking for more uh, wax seal supplies. So, like I said, I order most of my stuff on AliExpress. The only problem or downside to that is that you will have a lot of supplies that other people will also have. I don't know. I hope that helps. Also, I know that we have HEMA. I know that in the UK they also have HEMA and in a lot of European countries. Uh, HEMA also has wax seal supplies. They have these. Ta -da, and they have little stamps. And I heard from uh, Seher that she, they also have like uh, sales every once, in, uh, every once in a while so I have to keep an eye on that anyway I think that I oh yeah I told you about storing right I was going to tell you about my storage well everything is just in this bag but that is not the greatest idea I like these ziplock bags because they you can close them you have to find ziplock bags for these um, okay so that was everything on what's on my table what's on my desk sealing wax <laughs> i really hope that this helps if you have any great tips tricks web shops whatever feel free to let a leave a comment down below i know that we are all dying to hear uh, more about wax seals because it's so exciting to work with this i really hope i told you everything i know i really hope you uh, feel excited and inspired by this <laughs> and i really hope to see you guys again soon don't forget new video every monday and friday and hopefully i'll be able to upload even more than that okay bye bye